Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, government has sanctioned a total developmental cost of Rs 9000 crore including the Rs 2500 crore that has already been spent. The rollout of LCM Mark II is planned by 2024 and target is to complete its first flight by 2027, setting the stage for its production and subsequent operational availability around 2028. Now, after the approval of LCM Mark II, the expectation is that government will soon approve the funds for the prototype development for AMCA. I have been tracking the update for the funding for AMCA and it was expected last year itself but more than a year has gone still no funding approval for AMCA and India is already lagging behind when it comes to fighter jet development program overall. Any further delay is only going to push us behind in terms of technological superiority against our adversaries. Talking to Financial Express, the DRDO chairman S. Kamath has informed that preliminary design has been finalized and design phase is proceeding well by ADA team. Fabrication of AMCA is not yet done and the actual activity of prototype realization would begin only after the final approval of the government. At present, the proposal is with Cabinet Committee on Security and is expected to soon approve but how soon we will have to wait and watch. At the same time, the metal cutting for titanium bulkhead of AMCA aircraft as a part of technology development has commenced on July 13th, 2022. However, this activity seems to be not related to prototype development exactly. DRDO has earlier told that based on the design by ADA, the fabrication of leading edge of AMCA has been initiated by HL with a special material for fifth generation design. The unit will undergo structural and other testing before putting it on the first prototype. In summary, government will have to release funds to start the work on prototype development of AMCA otherwise we could see delay in the prototype development then again in first flight, production and the induction of India's fifth generation fighter jet. The ADA has planned to develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing which will cost close to Rs 900 crore each. However, this cost will reduce further when fighter jet will enter into full-fledged production. Since AMCA is an indigenous fighter, it will still be 50-60% to 60 cheaper than the imported fighters in its category. Now, in order to fast-track development, AMCA and IMRH has been placed under SPV or Special Purpose Vehicle Model involving private players with majority of stake. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process. This will avoid the bureaucratic red tape which we have in our PSU's procurement process and reduce the cost of development as well. The SPV would be involved in prototype development, sales production and providing life cycle support to the Indian Air Force. The rollout of first AMCA is expected around 2026 followed by serial production by 2032. Now, Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. The Mark I variant of AMCA will be powered by two GF414 INS6 turbofan engines capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter jet a super cruise ability that is cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. Apart from engine, the Mark I will also feature an imported ejection seat. However, the other components which includes sensors, avionics and flight control system are going to be indigenous which is going to increase the percentage of indigenous components in the fighter jet to 70%. The introduction of indigenous engine in AMCA will further increase the indigenous content by up to 90% in Mark II. The AMCA Mark II will feature indigenous engine to be developed jointly by Diado and Safran which is expected to be ready in next 7 to 8 years. AMCA Mark II is expected to have some of the 6th generation technology such as direct energy weapons and ability to launch unmanned aerial system. 
Due to much powerful engine, the fighter jet will be able to cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.